So I, I just want to say, first and foremost, from what I've been hearing, I don't know if it's confirmed. I don't know if it's true. I'm hoping it's not true. Rest in peace to um, Ray Sean Autry out of College Kid. Listen, I ain't got no beef with these uh, individuals. I always told y'all I never knew why they were, you know, it, it felt like they had some issue with me. They never were down to talk to me about it. Um, it's unfortunate that, you know, a lot of their lives and a lot of the time they spent, you know, especially in the last couple of months was kind of focused on trying to tear me down. We even got, we really got robbed of really finding out who they were. Um, I'll say this. You know, death is no joke. And um, I forgive College Kid for whatever they said about me. Recently, they were trying to put out some very false narrative, trying to paint me in a, in a light of being a pedophile. By the way, that's a very serious allegation. You know, I have a multi-million dollar deal with Spotify. They were trying to tweet at them, trying to like say all type of stuff, you know, trying to hopefully, you know, try to take a paycheck out of, out of my hands, you know. But even, even with that being said, you know, I seen one of the brothers pass away. I hope y'all can understand that, man. Like, listen, this shit not that serious. You know, there's a bigger part of life, and it's very unfortunate that a lot of times, um, especially in the last, like, six months, most of that was showcased by you guys trying to position yourself as someone trying to call me a pedophile, which I'm the furthest thing from that. You know what I mean? Nobody's ever said anything of the sort from about me, but... Um, I just want to say rest in peace to Rayshon Autry from College Kid. And, you know, I send my condolences over there to the whole family and everybody who's affected by it. Um, allegedly, in what I was told by multiple media outlets and people kind of close to the situation, one of the brothers passed from COVID or COVID complications. I don't know what that exactly means in 2021 or 2022, because sometimes I feel like, you know, that's almost a cover up for underlying conditions. However, you know, I, I I empathize with the family, okay? Um, I'll leave it at that. And for anybody who, who got any type of ill will or whatever trying to bring my name into it, the, the only story for y'all to motherfucking cover is the fact that these motherfuckers, they spent the last two, three years trying to come up with and fabricate things about me as an individual, as a person, and, and try to tarnish my character. Most of the times, which I ignored, most recently they came with a very vicious attack saying I was a pedophile, which is the furthest and actually nothing compared. That, that That's such, yo, it's like, like, that's not even the realm of possibility. But obviously that was something that was really malicious. But I'm here to tell y'all, I forgive them. So college kid, Ray Sean, wherever you are now, Richard, I forgive y'all. And, you know, the hatred y'all have for me, I don't know. I, you know, I, I, I offered it multiple times trying to fix it. That was never the case. So, um, you know, um, I, I hear one of the brothers are on life support or something, something of sort in the hospital. I hope he does make it, and I hope you know we could we could remediate shit. But um, for the people who don't like me. Y'all gonna see this in the, oh, I can sneak. This ain't no sneak. This my nigga. If a nigga painted, painted y'all out and was trying to like tweet at the y'all employer or who y'all was doing business with calling y'all a pedophile, if something happened to them, y'all would not be crying. Y'all be over here gloating and turning up and violating. But even where I'm speaking on it directly, fuck anything you've seen. I'm telling you this sincerely. I forgive them because I understand what being overcome with jealousy and hatred means. So, you know, again, you know, um, my prayers out to them. Anyway, let's keep this shit moving. You feel me? 2022, we ain't got time for that 2021 shit. Even though we do have to um, um, chat. What do y'all think is the top?